today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the derivative of cotangent x using delta process. And we are going to explain everything in details. So as you can see, we have f of x equals cotangent x. And the definition of the delta process, that is f of x equals limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. Since we have f of x equals cotangent x, let us find the value of x or f of x plus h, and that is cotangent x plus h. So let us substitute this one to the given formula. We have limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h, that is cotangent x plus h minus f of x, which is cotangent x all over h. So we have limit as h approaches 0. Since the quotient identity of cotangent is cosine over sine, and since we have cotangent x plus h, this will be cosine x plus h over sine x plus h minus cotangent x, which is cosine x over sine x all over h. So we have here limit h approaches 0. So let us write h on the denominator and let us combine these two fractions. Since we have different fractions, let us multiply their denominator. We have sine x, sine x plus h, and then let us cross multiply sine x times cosine x plus h minus cosine x sine x plus h. So simplify this one, let us multiply this one, and let us write here. So this will give us limit h approaches 0. Let us have h sine x sine x plus h and let us rewrite the numerator sine x cosine x plus h minus cosine x sine x plus h so in order for us to simplify this one as you can see sine x cosine x plus h minus cosine x sine x plus h is written in the form of difference of some identity and that is sine a minus b which is equal to sine a cosine b minus cosine a sine b wherein the value of a is x here and then b that is x plus h so meaning to say to simplify this one, we are going to write sine x cosine x x plus h minus cosine x sine x plus h as sine a minus b. So in order for us to do that, this is x and this is h in the form of delta process. So that means to say the value of h is x plus h. So we are going to have limit h approaches 0 sine x which is a minus b which is x plus h and let us copy the denominator h sine x sine x plus h so to simplify let us distribute the negative sign so we have limit h approaches 0 and then sine x minus x minus h all over h sine x sine x plus h. So we can cancel this one. This will give us limit h approaches 0. We have sine negative h over h sine x and then sine x plus h so to simplify this one let us rewrite this one as limit of negative sine 
h over h sin x sin x plus h as h approaches zero so let, let us have limit of or negative limit of sine h over h h approaches zero times one over sine x multiplied by sine x plus h limit h approaches zero so we all know that the limit of sine h over h as h approaches zero is equal to one and since we have a negative here we are going to have negative one multiply by one over sine x we have x plus h so this is sine x plus zero so we have negative one times one over sine x times sine x so we have negative one times one is negative one over sine squared x so the reciprocal of one over sine is cosine or cosecant so in order for us to write our final answer we are going to have negative cosecant squared x so this will be the derivative of cotangent x and this will be our answer so I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.